Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the new unified notification experience in Tableau 2221.1. It's a bit of a tongue twister to say, uh, but here we are. Essentially, what they've done is they've improved the notification center. So they've essentially given you two things. They've improved the interface. They've brought a lot of notifications that should be there into one place. And then they've also given some control so you can essentially choose where you get notifications. Let me show you. I head over to my Tableau Online instance. You'll see that I'm already logged in. And if you go up to the bell icon and click on it, you'll see that this now has a new interface. Now you can see I've already sent myself a test notifications just a few minutes ago, uh, but it has a very sort of nice feel to it. Now, one of the nice things is, is that your notifications stay here. So even if you've seen a notifications, you can mark it as red. They don't disappear once you've marked them as red. So if you sort of rely on notifications to be made aware of, you know, where things are and someone shared something with you uh, until you explicitly remove the notification, that notification is always going to stay there, which is kind of a really nice sort of uh, thing to, to, to have. Now, if you have any unread notifications, you also have this separator. Because I've just read that previous notification, you'll see there's nothing here. But if I go in here, mark it as unread, and then go to this tab, you'll see that it appears in both tabs. So this is a really nice quality of life improvement. Essentially, you can filter the notifications you've already seen and not seen. And again, here, once you mark it as read, it disappears from this list. So you can sort of use it as a way of triaging uh, this notification tool. If you're a server admin or maybe you have a lot of extracts, this is a nice way of getting to those extracts really quickly if they're causing issues. Okay. Now, the other thing you can do is actually this uh, little uh, gear here on the top right hand side will take you straight to a settings page that will show you how to control your notification. So let's just take a look at that. Let's hit that control gear here and it takes us directly to our um, settings page for our account. You can actually get to this another way. I'll show you that in a second, but you'll see here that there's this notifications area. This is nice and new. So you can essentially change where you receive notifications. Let's say you don't want to be notified on Tableau for certain things. So let's say I don't want to be notified on comments, uh, flow runs. All I want to be notified on Tableau is the extract job. So I can essentially choose those settings uh, and deselect the comments there and mentions and then hit save changes. And so the only thing I'll actually see in this bell on Tableau itself will be those extracts runs failing or succeeding or whatever. Now, the more practical thing is actually to do it this way around. So to, to keep your mentions and everything on on Tableau, but actually just choose to be specifically choose to be specifically notified about flow runs and extract jobs as well. And webhooks also come through by email. Essentially, this is a, a feature that's required because webhooks typically need to notify you some way. So um, there's no ability yet for them to notify you in Tableau, but I'm sure that's probably maybe coming in the future. And then once you've made your changes, you hit your save changes and that's pretty much it. That's everything changed. And you can see that this has been successful. You've got this little uh, uh, toast thing that came up there, disappeared before I could get to it. But and nonetheless, that's pretty much it. It's a nice, small quality of life improvement, but hopefully makes it easier to get to the notifications that matter uh, really, really quickly. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of the other videos in the 2021.1 playlist I've got here on YouTube and also on my website. Actually, if I just go to tableauton.com, I'll show you how that looks. Um, I think it's actually a better place to sort of browse all these new features. So if you go to the website and just hit this uh, big banner on the homepage, you can see that all the previous videos are here on the right hand side. So you can just sort of click through these and it's just much easier and nicer to sort of uh, see them all in one place. Um, it's essentially the same uh, content as in YouTube. It's no different. It's exactly the same videos, just in a, I think, a better place to watch them. So uh, check that out as well if you haven't had a chance. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.